What a win, what a win, guys. That was a crazy game, a crazy, gutsy game. Welcome back to the channel, guys. You know, um, this is the game review. After the after the game between the Steelers and the Bucks, you probably already know that because you've seen the title. But this game right here was a, a very different, it had a different feel. It felt like the Steelers were old. We went out there, we played gutsy. We played tough. We didn't we didn't give up. We played inspired. We, we played with heart. And we went out there. The defense was missing a lot of guys. Missing TJ Wyatt, who was probably the best, he's the best player on the team. Mika Fitzpatrick, who's probably the second best player or the third best player on the team. And missing all those guys, missing Killer Witherspoon, missing Levi Wallace, missing all those different guys out there. I think and still to come out there and to play and to make plays and make things happen. The front, the front seven was playing in unison. You know, Miles Jack, them getting back there, making tackles. Devin Bush making plays. Cameron Hayward making plays. Larry OG making plays. And James Pierre, James Pierre being an unsung hero, being a just being an underdog. I remember last year, James Pierre, he was he was playing. Um, he was playing well early on, hit the interception against the Broncos and stuff. And last year, he was playing solid. Then he got benched. I think he started getting beat and then torched. And he kind of got taken out the rotation completely. To come back this year, I thought to not to barely have some playing time, maybe here and there. I think more of a special teams guy. And to come back and to have to like come in and start against Tom Brady and the Bucks and Mike Evans and Chris Godwin them on the outside. He played amazing. He played amazing. He played with fire. He played with intensity. And he was out there. He was he was out there. And like I don't, I don't his stats might he might have no interception like that. But if you like watch the game and see like the tackles he made, the plays he made on the balls and stuff like that, some pass breakups here and there. I he, he played with a lot of heart. And I, he was my he was my player of the the defense, player of the defense like that because I like that intensity. I like to see the underdog story, a guy who got casted away, who came back just like Mr. Bisky. Mr. Bisky um, came in. The Kenny Pickett got hit. Um, he got hit and he fell, hit his head, had a concussion. And you know what Trubisky did? Just went out there, no excuses. Go go out there and just play. Be all, always stay ready. You never know when your your um, number gonna be called. Just go out there and stay ready and play. But I'm gonna go through the first half and the second half of stuff that I like and what that I seen that said to me. And of course, Cameron Brake, you know, prayers to Cameron Brake. Um he fell and he had a concussion, I think, last week and he came back. And I don't know what it was this week like that, but he had a tackle. I don't know if it's a something up his neck or it's another concussion like, but he might take, he take some time off because um, it, look, it looked pretty bad. He had to get carted off on the stretcher, so prayers up to him. But in the first quarter, I mean, the first half, first half, the offense was solid. Um, We we, we played solidly. That first drive was a nice drive. Getting out down there and then the nice play, the play action play, Najee Harris off the block shed and getting wide open. And Kenny Pickett throwing the ball to Najee Harris. I think that's Najee Harris' second receiving touchdown, if I'm not mistaken. I think he had one. He had one week one, yeah, against the Bengals. Yeah, he caught one like that. But um, that was a nice play right there. We moved the ball solidly, and um, we, we got a field goal later that game, later that um quarter, that half, too. We, we should have probably put some more points up. We had some opportunities out there. We missed a little bit. But I think the offense played solidly, holding the ball like that. Even though we punted some of the plays, we held the ball and milked some of the clock out. Like, the, the game – we kind of went kind of fast to me. In my opinion, the game went kind of fast like that. We um milked the, the the ball got was in our hands for a long time. The possession time of possession was in our grasp. I, I believe we had the we hit the ball the most. I believe so. I thought we was able to run the ball not the way we wanted to run the ball like with 100 plus yards, but we ran it effective effectively like that when we when we had to. Najee Harris getting some runs here and there. Maybe later, more later in the game, and then Jalen Warren making plays in that fourth and one. Him going up the middle and getting there was um, nice too to see. Um, the defense looked good, looked very good. Bend but don't break. Um, Brady was driving the team down the field, but every time he got to the goal line, the defense stood their ground, made plays. Miles Jack jumping up, getting the tip up, and when you see um guys making plays, Robert Spillane got beat off the release, had to um readjust and had to um recover, turn around, get a hand on it, and swat it down to the ground. And just guys are making plays, just making plays and playing with intensity. Edmonds getting back there in the backfield, stopping the run and stuff like that. James Pierre doing his thing. He was guarding Mike Evans most of the time. Mike Evans really didn't, was kind of held in check a little bit. He still has a, he has a place here and there, but he was held in check. Chris Godwin did most of the damage. But um, the team, the team, look, the defense looked very good. Um, of course, Cam Hayward getting there, getting a sack on Brady to force a um, field goal. Larry OG getting in there and stopping the run and stuff like that, making plays and then creating pressure. And it, it was just it was just nice to see how the, the defense was playing in unison. You know, like a lot of guys are down. They, they had the excuse and be like, "Well, we lost this game. We got blown out because we didn't have our guys." But they went out there and just played. They played like they they was the starters. They went out there and played. They wasn't thinking about backups and none of that stuff. Just go out there, no excuses, and just go out there and play and execute. And that's exactly what they did. In the second half, we seen Steven Sims bust out the gate. 
with an 89 yard kick return. He, he ran out of gas a little bit at the end because he had the right, he started on the outside. He had to juke back and do a little jukes like that. Jukes and like do little moves like that to get through and get to open space. And what's the name? It was a nice play by, uh, I forgot what bug player that was, but it's a nice play for him to recover and to get back and to make that tackle. But ever since Steven Stems got as a, became the return man in the kick return and punt return game, he's been very good. Like that, we see like maybe a little bit of plays here and there. We see him actually securing the ball, no fumbling or anything. But he's actually out there playing well, and he finally broke one off. I thought he was he was taking that much to the house, but he on um, slow. He kind of ran a gas a little bit at the end, but it was still an amazing play. It's still a nice play and a very very good play to help us get some points on the board. We didn't score a touchdown. I would have hoped we would have scored a touchdown, but we'll take the points when we can take them like that. Um, Kenny Pickett came up with a guy an injury. Uh, I believe it's in third quarter, late in the third, like in mid third quarter ish. At that, he got only threw the ball and got hit by Devin White. But it was it was a, it was a clean shot, you know, to the mid mid section. But just like he fell down, he kind of hit his head, bounce, you know, hit his head back on like the um the ground. Uh, I think I don't know if they teach the players like how to um I don't know maybe I don't know it's actually not a way really you can do it really because like if you get hit that way and you are trying to like brace yourself sometimes you can brace yourself with your hands but if you're you got you're in throwing motion you can't really brace yourself you just fall down and you might fall and you. And you fall and slide, then probably better. But if you might, if you, sometimes you can hit a certain way, you can't control that. So you might fall and hit your head back. So that's it's kind of hard to like prepare yourself from those type of hits and stuff, especially trying to make a play downfield. But Mr. Bishy came in, and remember that third in that um, third quarter, I believe it was, I think it was the third quarter, either third quarter or fourth quarter, one of those quarters with the big play to come to Hayward. Um, they, they, it, was a, it was great awareness by the um, offense to see the 12 men on the field. They seen. I forgot who ran off first, and then Vita Vea was running off. He tried to jump off, and they got the ball off enough time, and it's a free play. And Connor Hayward was wide open. Connor Hayward was also open. I think another play when Kenny Pickett had, was um, still in, the one he threw to Zach Gentry on the side. Connor Hayward uh, had a free, he had a nice release, and he was uh, open on the sideline, but he couldn't throw the ball to him because the um, the old line was not protecting him. Especially Dotson. Dotson was getting beat a lot that game. That was not his best game, but overall the old line did a solid job. But it's just that left side was like it was getting beat badly. But um, kind of Hayward finally got opportunity, got the target. Well, he had another target too. Well, I think um, Nassib hit the ball out of King, uh, Mr. Bisky's hand, like he deflected it, and then he fell to the ground. And then he had his third opportunity to get to get a chance to get the ball. He was wide open, caught it, made a move to get a field, forty-five yard play, the biggest receiving yard play I believe, um, this season like that. So that was an amazing play. The kick started up, and then of course you see um. Najee Harris with the Wildcat formation. I would prefer that type of play at the goal line. I think we got like three or four yards on that. I think that play would work better at the goal line. You get Najee back there, you're like, okay, this 240-pound um, running back is back there. Like that, and then he's doing like a little trickery with Steven Sims, but then you like him run ahead or a trickery with the tight end, maybe a tight end be a lead blocker, and you run behind him. I, I prefer that play to be at the goal line, but the play you got about three or four yards, and then we see Mr. Bishop throw the strike, the absolute strike to um, Chase Claypool. Chase Claypool had a nice release, got open, I think they're playing, they're playing like a zone coverage a little bit. So he, like, he was setting the zone wide open. Ah, touchdown, his first touchdown since the last game of last year, actually, against the Ravens. We caught the slant yard, the slant one against, um, for Big Ben. I thought that was um am- that was an amazing play right there. And then we've seen the defense go out there and force a well, – well, then, they, then, they, then they, get a, they get a stop right. Cause, uh, no, 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 the um, Buccaneers scored a touchdown. Yeah, I'm, I'm tripping. Buccaneers scored a touchdown, Leonard Fournette. Caught it on uh, a little dump off a screen pass and ran through some guys and then tumbled his way in the end zone. And I was, and I'm like, we get the ball back. I was like, come on, the pressure zone now. But oh, yeah, the two point conversion play. That play right there came back to be the, one of the biggest plays in the game. Devin Bush going out there. And um, I, I seen it, I seen it coming. I, I was calling it the whole, the whole way. You seen it coming because Chris Godwin was the guy that was using a lot. And I have Chris Godwin on my fancy team. I want him to get some points, but not the points to be, be our team right there. <laughs> I thought, but um, Chris Godwin, you seen it. He started on that side. You already know what they got to do. I think he started on that side. They see it, and you know Brady called something, and he motioned. I'm like, yep, he's motioning out and motion back in. As soon as Brady say hut, he gonna run and probably rock a little, either drag or slant or the, or cut it out. But like the way he was looking, like you like he gonna run back, run it in like that to be closer to Brady to like kind of get off the outside um press coverage. I think he just he just, he motioned back inside. Um, Brady called hut. Devin Bush picked it up. And he he had a step on Devin Bush at first, but Devin Bush kind of got the hand around and just made a play on it and swatted it down. That was that came back to be a big play. That's probably Devin Bush's best play this season. I thought that was an amazing play. He been playing better and better every week. And last week wasn't his best of games, but it was nobody's best of games because we all got everybody got stumped out and beat down by the um or my tongue said smashed by the Bills. But we was getting beat down by the Bills last week, but this week you see how defense like just came out there, no excuses, and they um wanted to rebound back. And they, that was an amazing play Devin Bush made. And then. When we got the ball, 
I was like, oh, we're doing pretty good, you know? And then you see a bad play happen. And something always happened. A bad play happened. And like I said before, we can't overcome some of these bad plays. The um, low snap by the center, um, Mason Cole. I believe it's Mason Cole, yeah. And if it fell about all the way back, Mr. Bisky made a gussy play. Him and Najee Harris. Najee Harris trying to get back there, blocking the guy off. Mr. Bisky jumped down there and got the ball back. I was like, it's third and 16. I was like, oh, here we go. I was like, I was like yeah, defense, get ready. Because I don't know if I'm going to get this. I don't know. Third and 16 with this, against that Buccaneers defense. They might, they might have been the best today, but they were still playing pretty good like that. And then Mr. Bisky dropped back, um, went through his progression, stepped up. And zip the, he did the stuff that we would want him to do when he was starting, like go through his go through his reads and find some of those guys, some of those bigger targets. And Chase Claypool was having a good game today. He, in my opinion, he was the offensive player of the game today, making those big plays and um, back to back plays and those clutch plays and the touchdown he had. And then he, um, Mr. Bisky saw him, zipped it to him, got a first down, and then we was down to third and eleven. Third and eleven play that we uh, that happened, and we was like looking. I was like, oh, here we go again. Mr. Bisky stepped up as the pocket collapsed. Threw a nice ball on the sideline. A nice ball. Throw it, throw it in his proximity. Chase Claypool. Amazing. Amazing. You ain't got to say anything. That's how great it was right there. That was a nice. That was probably one of the best catches I've seen Chase Claypool make this year. Probably was his best catch this year. Like, to be on the sideline, to know your, to know the sideline as, as well, and to get your feet, you know, get you got a foot down and elbow down, and to maintain the ball while you're hitting the ground like that. That, that's the Chase Claypool we wanted to see. The rookie Chase Claypool who was making all those plays. He was using athleticism. The one who had the first his first play of his own NFL career was over the top and going on the sideline like that. That's the Chase Claypool we wanted to see like that. And today we got to see him. I think he went out there and played amazing. Then Mr. Bisky had the run. He could have just went inside and fell down. But he cut back outside and stayed in bounds and got to the got to the first down. I think he was second and second and um, one. Najee Harris. I was in the uh, in the backfield as an formation, and then Mr. Bisky give it to him direct snap up the middle, and that was that was the game like that. And that that game right there, that drive right there, should set the tone for the next game, and hopefully some other games. Um, no matter who's on the field, who's on the field, who's on defense, who's on the offense, offensive side, no matter who's on the field, you gotta go out there and you gotta play. You gotta go out there and fight. No no wins are guaranteed. I say this every time. That, that's why when I I said the people saying like the Buccaneers are gonna beat the, blow the Steelers out and all this stuff, like no win is guaranteed. You still have to go out there and play the games. I think we've seen the Jets beat the Packers. Packers lost back to back games. We've seen the Ravens blow a ten point lead to the Giants and stuff. So no, no win is guaranteed. You gotta go out there and still play the game. And we went out there. Every game will start zero zero. Not, the game not gonna start where well, they up twenty and you're down twenty points. You know you, you got zero points. They got twenty already. No, no, no. every game gonna start zero zero. Every every week is a new week. You know, you're looking to compete to be 1-0 and every week like that. Don't look forward and look ahead and all this stuff like that. Just focus on the week and focus on the game that's in front of you like that. And that's what we did this game right here. Focus on the game in front of us and went out there and played with intensity, went out there and got the victory. But, yeah, that's all I got for this video today, guys. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. And, finally, I can do a Victory Monday. It's been like since week one, I did a Victory Monday on my game MVPs. You probably already heard me say it. Um, my game MVPs is um most – Chase Claypool and James Pierre. I'm gonna break them down tomorrow and talk about some of the best plays they made and talk about their the gussiness they played with. So be tuned in that tomorrow. I'm actually gonna make it right now, but you'll see it tomorrow. But I'll see you guys when I see you. Peace out.